Hello everyone. Uh, this video ha is uh, involved with um, learning how to do constructions in geometry. And in your Brain Honey um, coursework, it says that one of the requirements is that you have a compass and a straight edge. Now a straight edge, we can, we can use a ruler for a straight edge, uh, but we do not use the ruler markings for that. Uh, which is which is being true to the way the ancient Greeks uh, learned how to how to discover geometry. Um, now, some of you do not have a compass at home, or you would prefer to do something online, uh, an online solution for uh, using a compass and straight edge to create make your constructions. And we do hap I do happen to have a website that we can use. Uh, to create these constructions. Um, in your Brain Honey um, geometry course, uh, if you take a look at your menus over on the left hand side or wherever, uh, in your welcome folder uh, there is a link for Mr. Wurtz's useful websites. All right, and so I have some things on there. Uh, probably if you haven't had a chance to look at this yet, probably be a good idea to do so. Your um, on the fourth, about the fourth one down, is the online compass and protractor tool. And that's the one that we're going to use. So um, you can go through your Brain Honey, uh, you can go through Brain Honey to find this, or once you get there, if you want to bookmark it, you can actually use it outside of Brain Honey itself. Uh, probably the way I would, probably the way I would do it. Uh, you're going to be using it for a few assignments in in geometry not a ton not a lot uh, but you use it a little bit and so it's a useful little, uh, useful little website um, and when you open that up uh, you'll see that it's fairly empty it's, there's not a whole lot here except on the right hand side we have some tools that we can use uh, we have the compass tool we have a protractor tool we have a pencil, we have a pen, and we have a ruler. So we could use these for some different things. Uh, we're going to use three things here. We're going to use the compass. We're going to use the pencil, which we use to draw straight lines. So that's going to be, that's going to double as our, our drawing um, instrument and also our straight edge because it's going to draw just straight lines. And then if we need to do some uh, freehand, writing we can use the pen for that okay now in your assignment um, in your assignment for 1.02 you were asked to uh, create some constructions and the first one the first construction that you were asked to do is to copy a line segment all right and so the first thing that you want to do in your toolbox is to uh, create a line segment and then you're going to copy it all right and so to do that we're going to first of all we need to have the first line segment so you can make uh, just draw basically a line segment using your pencil and you can make that any length you wish I probably won't go to get too carried away with its length but something like that would be great uh, a line segment has endpoints so we really need to draw those endpoints in and we're going to use the pencil tool for that or the pen tool excuse me we're going to use the pen tool and we're going to put in we're just going to draw in little endpoints okay and we're going to label them because in geometry it's very important to label things and so we're going to label that and we'll just I'm not very creative so this is line segment a B okay and now we're going to make a copy of this line segment now when I say make a copy of it basically what I mean is we're going to make another line segment that is the same length in other words they will be congruent segments okay and so here's the way that we do that is by using by grabbing the compass tool. I'm just going to go over here and click on the compass and that grabs it for us. Now a little thing about the compass. Okay. The compass will is um, has some components. Uh, this point right here is sort of where the pinpoint would be on the compass where you anchor 
uh, where you anchor the compass. Okay, this end is the drawing end. And then this is the handle. This middle, this middle thing is the handle. So if you want to, if you wish to draw something, you need to grab the middle, you need to grab the handle and then you draw. Now, if you want to move the compass, if you want to rotate the compass without drawing, you can grab inside, like on here, um, sort of like what the bar would be. And you can then you can move the compass without without drawing. Okay. If you wish to make a, if you wish to change the radius, uh, the opening of the compass, you can grab here with your left mouse button, and you can you can. Uh, change the size of it. If you need to move the compass, you can grab it by its by its anchor, and you can move it. Okay. So what we're going to do to copy, to make a copy of a line segment, and you're thinking, well, why can't we just measure it with a ruler and then draw another one with a ruler? Well, the reason why we don't do that in geometry is is because that's not how the ancient Greeks did it. Uh, the ancient Greeks did not use rulers. They did not use um, protractors. Uh, they did not have, they really did not have measuring devices that were really very good. Uh, so they used a compass and a straight edge. And the reason why we can do that is because if we can use the, we can use the compass to sort of measure its length then um, and we can we can basically what we can basically do is we can draw another one that is the same length and we're using the we're using the open opening of the compass to measure okay so that's really kind of their measuring device all right so I use the compass and I'm, I'm measuring so the way that we're going to copy this line segment is going to be to um, first of all, we, we created one line segment and then we're going to use our pen tool and we're going to, we're going to create a third point. It doesn't have to be exactly where I, where you see it here. We're going to call it point C and then we're going to use the compass tool and we're going to figure out where point D should be. That will be the same distance apart as A and B. And so we're going to use that compass tool and we have to remeasure. We're going to measure with the with the compass we're going to measure the distance from a to b okay and this is not an exact thing with this with this thing it's it'll be pretty close uh, you should do should be able to do a fairly good thing now we're going to put the anchor on point c and we're going to grab we're going to grab the handle and we're going to swing an arc okay now Anywhere on that arc that you see, okay, let's just pull the pull the compass off here for a second. Any point on that compass is going to be the same distance, is going to be equally distant from that arc, that, that point on the arc to point C. And it's going to be the same as A and B because that's how we measured the compass. We used the compass to measure this length. And so any point on here will have the same length as as line segment a b so we're just going to grab the pen and we're going to place a little we're going to place a point here uh, sometimes i'm not the neatest person in the world but uh you can kind of see the point there i think okay we'll call it point d now we're going to take our pencil and we're going to connect points c and d and we can say we cut we were able to copy a line segment and we can say that a b line segment a b is congruent to line segment c d now we're going to talk more about congruency in the next section uh, but congruency basically means that their lengths are the same of those, those two line segments have the same length, therefore they are congruent line segments. All right. Now, once you have your construction made, and that's that's all you have to do for that first one. All right. Once you have the line 
once you have the construction made, the next step is to take that thing that you made uh, in your toolbox and dump it into something where you can submit it to me. Now you have two options. You can dump this into a, a Microsoft Word document, or if you prefer, you can you can um, uh, you could dump this also into a Google Docs and share it that way. Uh, make sure if you're using Google Docs instead of Microsoft Word that you have your permissions to share with your teacher who is me okay because if you don't allow me to see it I won't be able to see it and I won't be able to give you a grade for the assignment so just remember that if you're using Google Docs uh, to do so now a tool for putting things for 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 snipping things off is the snipping tool and I gotta see if I can find that I believe it's in Microsoft it's in it's uh, sorry it's in accessories I believe and there is a snipping tool the snipping tool is really useful because it will give it will it will basically highlight the parts of the screen you want to you want to make a copy of and the rest of it otherwise if you, you can do the alt print screen and it will take a screenshot of the whole thing of your whole screen basically uh, which isn't bad if you want to do it that way you can do it that way but it um, the snipping tool is kind of nice because it just it just highlights the, the small portion of the screen that you want to share or you want to copy and paste all right so we're going to do a new one and we're going to we just basically take the mouse and you highlight it and notice uh, this this little thing in there probably could go away but that's all right I'm gonna leave it in all right and then you can copy you could also save you can save it and name it as a file but for us I think we're just gonna copy and then we open up our word processing program where is it oh Microsoft Office of course uh, Microsoft Word and then in here you should be able to paste it into a word document and you can re in the, in word you can resize it and you build you can write because the, the assignment asks you to make to write explanations about how you did things and so you have a word processor here you should be able to write underneath it write your steps and off you go you can save it as a file and this is the file that you can submit to me again you can use Google you can use uh, you can use Google uh, Docs if you want if you're more if you're comfortable with that again the permissions have to be set to share with me otherwise I won't be able to see it uh, but if you want if you want to send it to me as a Google Doc that's also fine okay I hope this was helpful to you and I hope uh, you have a chance to use it I, I find that it's a pretty good uh, a pretty good program so hopefully things go well